Ladies and gentlemen, hello, a very belated and a very happy new year to you all. So many of you have been so kind and generous. Cue Natalie Merchant with your support of the cause and the sending of lettuce to Terrence that I am embarrassingly behind on orange bells to ring and videos to make. I hereby declare January 2021 the month of restitution. For my first act of restitution, and this is a little awkward, apparently Mayonnaise by the Smashing Pumpkins did not win the November Patreon Mega Votathon. Apparently, Drive by Incubus did. I don't know how that slipped past me. Sorry, guys, but that's what we're doing today. Drive by Incubus. For all the Patreon folks, thank you so much for your support and your votes, and also for Mud Hungry Guitar, Nick Croce, and VMDZ. For this activity, you will need a pair of scissors, some glue, some help from your parents, and an E minor chord, but not just any E minor chord. I don't believe I've ever played this particular E minor chord before. Put your pointer finger on A7, your ring finger on D9, and your middle finger on B8. This is just like our bar chord E minor, except with open strings whenever possible, and we do want all of the strings to make noise, even the ones without fingers on them. <laughs> The second chord is a bit of an oddball. It's, I believe, an E minor 9. Middle finger goes on A7. Pointer finger on D5. Ring finger on G7. And pinky finger on B7. Here's a cheat. If this is too much, just leave your pointer finger out of it. You'll naturally mute the D string, and that's okay. That's enough, but if you can include that, even better. The third chord is C major 7. That's your pointer finger on A3 your ring finger on D5, your middle finger on G4, and your pinky finger on B5. We also want the open baby E string to ring out when we do this as well. And the last chord is awesome. Your ring finger's already in the right spot. We're just gonna lose everything else and put your middle finger on the E string fifth fret. This is an A minor chord of sorts. You could, if you want, put your pointer finger on the G string fourth fret. I like that, I don't know why think that's what they do, but if you do that, you get two B notes, and if you don't, you get two G notes. So you'll have two of something, it doesn't matter which two you have, I feel like I have more control over that, but whichever you like there. And before we get to the putting of them together, I want to take just a moment to appreciate how this chord progression, this song, was optimized for maximum ringy outiness. If you pluck all the strings separately when you do these chords... chords are a bit of a finger puzzle, but don't worry, there is time built in to switch to them, and I'll show you what I mean. On the E minor chord, we are it's the first chord, so we had since last Tuesday to switch to it, but we are going to switch to it after another chord many times in the song. What we're going to do is pluck the bass note, that's the open E string twice, followed by down, down, up. Bass, bass, down, down, up. Switching to the E minor 9 chord, it's bass bass down up, and the bass note in question is the A string 7th fret, and that gives you time to switch to the rest of the chord. So, so far, we have bass bass down down up, bass bass down up. The C major 7 is the same as the E minor chord, bass bass down down up, and the bass note in question is the A string 3rd fret. The last chord, the A minor chord, is the same as the E minor 9 chord, bass bass down up. So, bass bass down, down up, bass bass down up, bass bass down, down up, bass bass down up. And it is worth mentioning that the first time only on the E minor chord, it's not bass bass down, down up, it's A string, D string, down, down up, but that's okay because you have plenty of time to get your fingers there. That's most of the song, because all that's left is the chorus, and the chorus is just C major 7 and A7 back and forth. You know A7, it's D2 and B2, and that's it. But on the A7, there's this move of strum, pull-off, strum. The pull-off's the B string. Strum, pull-off, strum, strum, pull-off, strum, and it goes right along with the melody. And 
that is it for Incubus Drive. Thank you so much for being here for this one. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. I'm excited for this year. Goodbye.